Today, we have the best goalkeepers for every single budget. If you're brand new to the series, a thumbs up would be highly appreciated. I'm giving you my opinion and maybe the most controversial position of them all. We have three categories, expensive, value, and cheap. With goalkeepers, the actual price points allotted in each of these categories is significantly lower. And we're gonna lead off with the big man on campus. I'm talking Petr Cech, iconic, 93 overall, currently 675,000 coins. And if you're spending some of that hard-earned coinage when it comes to goalkeepers, it should be mentioned, this should be a later priority, unless you pack them, they're untradeable, and so forth and so on. Because the other players on the pitch, I believe will impact more of your matches. And if we're throwing it back to last year, he was technically built to be a striker as well. Vandersar, I've gone with the 90 overall, not because the 92 is not better, just because I haven't gone up against the 92 enough and I haven't used him enough as he was just released as this video is being recorded. It's more than likely he's gonna be better. But the 90, I know the proof of the track record, a lot of experience, cost you 445,000 coins. I would recommend giving the 92 some play in time now that he's readily available and let me know your opinion. Currently, he's 580,000 coins, so it's not even a big price difference between the two of them. And a general rule of thumb when it comes to goalkeepers is pick a Vandersar, you can't go wrong wing span and last of my expensive goalkeeper selections and it might come to a surprise i've got casillas and he's never been the guy i always had issues with him being undersized didn't have the deliverables it impacted his consistency but this item in particular there's never been a better casillas period any previous fifa even this year's upgrade from the 90 to the 92 Whatever's happened with this version, this 92 is just a different gravy. And the price tag supports it. Nearly 600K, he's never been that expensive. Currently game changing, he's coming off the line, he's cutting down angles, he's making miraculous save after save. The guy is everywhere. An elephant in the room? You might be asking, Mike, where is team of the year Allison? At the end of the day, this is my list and I would prefer these three players. But I will say this, the 95 Allison, good to go, gets the green light, gonna cost you 870,000 coins. And then his 89 overall cost you 26,000 coins, which is a 33X price difference. So from a value perspective, you might be able to do better. Moving into value, and I believe full heartedly, this is the guy in this budget range. If you're looking for a goalkeeper, you can get the chemistry. Go ahead and grab the second coming of Buffon with Donnarumma, the Italian, a big body type, athletic, just a bear in goal. He gets to everything. And I don't know if it's true, but every time I have Donnarumma in goal and there's some sort of penalty kick shooter, I feel more confident. My ego is on the up and up. I believe in Donnarumma. I don't know if he's got some extra anticipation, if it deals with what he's done on the actual pitch, and maybe it's just a placebo effect, but I love this item. The 91 overall, I think he's 150,000 coins. Might be your best pickup of any of the goalkeepers we talk about today if you're talking about your bang for your buck, what you're spending, what you're receiving, the return of investment. The hardest part might be chemistry. Peter Schmeichel overlooked and you're not paying that hype price at a couple hundred thousand coins for an icon goalkeeper. Most of them are going to cost you the arm, the leg, both your hands, the fingertips, everything all inclusive because he's not carrying the same type of momentum this year in particular. You can pick up Schmeichel for more of a discount comparatively for icon goalkeepers. That's how I feel. I've always had a bunch of belief there's nothing missing with goalkeepers in particular i'm looking at consistency being insured feeling that the goalkeeper will make reliable saves and then when you get the bonus moments by all means happy days we all congratulate and celebrate make phone calls send some messages you name it it's happening but i need the baseline saves to be made cut down the angles make the game easier for me I promise it won't be a theme, but it wouldn't be right if we didn't have Vandersar at the 88, 270, 280,000 coins. And Vandersar, 
is who you expected him to be. There's no razzle-dazzle. There's not an extracurricular. Since he's been introduced into FIFA, every single year he has been in a rotation. And that's not by accident. That's not a coincidence. We know what type of player he is. What you get, the full access, dates back to a reoccurring pattern of success in goal. That's how I feel about Vandersar. I would always use Vandersar. There's never been a title or a patch, an adjustment period where I thought Vandersar was not one of the best goalkeepers in the world or in the game. There's never been that period at any point. Cheap options, and I was a little conflicted because overall, these players are cheap, but for a goalkeeper, I could be coming up with guys that are 15, 20,000 coins. I was thinking outside the box a little bit. And I love this Dudek. I don't see him used nearly enough. Again, under the radar, he has been a man that gets to everything. Easy hero insert. If I didn't want to spend the bigger budgets or make those larger investments for 70, 80,000 coins, I've got a hero. If I really wanted to, I could downsize and get his previous item, but I would recommend the 88 and I'm going to stand by that. A player that has rich history with yours truly. We've been long-term collaborators. Areola in gold, a Frenchman. Again, wingspan, length, positioning, it's right. And he typically starts out as a lower rated rare gold or even a, a non-rare gold. And he's a little overpowered. We discussed him at the very beginning of the title. But once he starts hitting these upgrades, and this is the only inform as a spoiler that I have throughout the entirety of my list, it's significant. I noticed the improvements and you can't change size. If you wanted to talk about factors across the board for anyone outside of Casillas, who's breaking all the rules when it comes to goalkeepers, everyone else has a big body type. It matters. This position is all subjectivity based on opinion. We don't have as much measurables outside of, I prefer at least typically large goalkeepers. I think most people do. But that might be it. But just because a goalkeeper's tall doesn't mean he's good. Areola goes above and beyond. Last but not least, and the most mass appeal, I've got Thibaut Courtois. And we're going with the standard gold, 40,000 coins. Most used goalkeeper from the rare gold selection easily throughout the course of the year up to this point. And if you're going to take on that route, there's a few different players you can go for. Pick your poison. They're all priced almost around fodderism at this point. So you're not necessarily paying more or less based on ability. You're just paying more or less based on rating. But you don't have to be a detective to make a case for Thibaut Courtois being world class, even as a baseline rare gold in FC24. Those are my selections. Let your voice be heard in the comments, and we will make a top five or a top 10 video around goalkeepers in particular. So I'd love to hear your opinions on which goalkeepers you really like, which ones haven't worked out for you. Maybe even make a list. We will screenshot and incorporate and give credit in future videos with this position in particular. But across the board, we're always going back and forth with the community. I appreciate you. And as always, I have a lot more content coming out ASAP, ASAP.